Alright, so. Is it gonna add anything? The game hasn't even been announced yet, Peter. There's, like, it's still 2019. You're being too impatient. Honestly, I don't know, Reaper. Like, I don't know if Heat 5 is just going to be, you know, more minor upgrade updates with roster update, or I don't fucking know. They should add modifieds, in my opinion, but, you know. Anyways, let's, uh, let's see what Sweeney has for me. Ooh, a Desio. Alright, we have a Gorilla. Meh. Prince and the Digit. Also, I kind of like the, uh, stats of the Desio compared to the Palo here. The Palo's, uh, not in the best shape. Lost three whole dollars on its value. Oh, man. Oh, well. But, uh, let's see. Can I afford the Desio? Trading in the Palo? Oh, hell yeah, I can. 180 bucks, and I have 600 in the bank. Here's our new car. Vroom. That's not all we can do. Now we can actually use the auto shop and uh, upgrade our car as well as paint it. So, uh, yeah, this game has a livery editor, by the way. It's a pain in the ass. But, uh, This is literally like a spray paint thing, and that's it. So, we we could just we just pick a spot on the car, and we just paint it. Oh, that's larger than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, shit. All right, let's just make make the smaller nozzle. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Eh. There. That's a 91. That is totally a 91. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see. Yep. Am I going to do this to all my cars? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Because I can't fucking... I can't do this. Spray painting numbers is hard. God, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks so bad. There's the paint booth. That's that's all I'm doing. <laughs> 90 slash, yes. Really appreciate how limited delivery ever there is. Dislike to grown up and enjoying it now. Honestly, it makes sense considering the theme of the game, because you know, these guys will just spray paint shit on their cars, like their numbers. Yes, yeah, the Derby way. But anyways, here's our upgrade. So each car gets a uh, one point of upgrade for each stat. So we have the turbo engine mod for increased top speed. We have the sport suspension for increased handling, and we have the chassis reinforcement for increased durability. Um. I'm actually going to get the, um, the turbo mod for this, give it a little extra speed for $98. Uh, the suspension, chassis reinforcement, eh. Actually, you know what, I am going to get the chassis reinforcement because a little more durability will go a long way. So there's that. So, uh, yeah. There we go. But, uh, so there's that. So we have a couple more places to explore now including but not limited to the infield which is here but uh unfortunately we can't freely roam the infield but we can uh, do a time trial which I'm not going to do yet I'll save the time trial for later because there's multiple trials and I kind of want to just uh, take care of all of them at once if that makes sense Whoa. so I'm going to do that later Instead, I'm gonna go over here, and uh, we're gonna head over to TJ's here, 
And uh, now there's more people at TJ's, uh, five to be exact. Let's actually challenge these guys. So I didn't want to do just Tom Collins for one fucking segment. So, uh, so yeah, we got five people we can race here. Tom Collins, Eddie Del Castro, Scott Johnson, Max Powers, and Barry Likens. Uh, apparently all five of them are unranked. Um, each shows what car they're driving, how many times we challenged them, where their hometown is, and uh, how much we're gonna, the wager is against them. So, let's start with Tom Collins, who's in a top, so this is gonna be easy. So, can you beat Tom Collins and two friends? Oh, absolutely. Bet information, he's in the top, $25 bet, and he has two friends with him, so it's gonna be a four car race. That number of time trials, um... Perhaps Reaper? Maybe? I think, like, at some point it might just change the trial to your best time, but I know there's a couple of, at least a couple of, uh, preset times. Preset trials. But anyways. So, um, here's a venue that has returned from Dirt to Daytona, but in a very different way. So, um, if you guys remember, in the Modified series, there was a road course called Welch Valley. Welcome. <laughs> this is Welch Valley, except now it's dirt. And also very, uh, undulaty. Yes, this is the new Welch Valley Racing Complex. I always thought this was cool. <laughs> like, they took their original road course and, uh, redneck it fight it. Happened to the old one? I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know. I thought this was really cool when I realized this. Like, they took an old asset and reworked it. This is the old one. But this game came out two years after Dirt to Daytona. Thunk. Listen to my car scream. I think it only has four gears. I'm going to assume it's only a four speed. Also, I'm just leaving these guys in the dust. Unsurprisingly, since they're in tops and shit. Pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know what the fucking, like... Yeah, I beat Tom Collins $125. <laughs> Hooray. Probably Reaper. Probably all four speeds. I mean, in terms of the type of racing, this could be considered, I guess, some sort of a prequel to, like, the NASCAR career. I don't know. I don't know, but there we go. We beat Tom Collins, and now he's, uh... He's had enough. He's checked out. So, uh, there's that, so... Move on to our next challenger, Eddie Del Castro in the Moth. So, ooh, he just got four friends with him. Ooh, $40 bet. Let's go. There we go. Got a lamp, bro. Lamp! So, here we go next. Six car race. One lap around the Welch Valley Racing Complex. They allow NASCAR three years. I'm sure, like, way back when there were NASCARs with three years. I've had Eon Dirt to Daytona explain to me is you inherit your grandma's top, find a neck for racing, get good, and then go legit. I mean, that makes sense. I, that makes a wealth of sense, actually. Ah, no, stop bullying me. Fuck you. Not today. Doubt it. Because, like, they actually have, like, mandated transmission, uh... Uh... 
What's the word I'm looking for? Regulations. Yeah, it's not like an open development thing where they can just slap whatever the fuck they want in or on the car. For drafting. Yeah. Well, after that initial little, uh... God, the fucking paint job's so horrible. <laughs> I only have myself to blame. Imagine if I had to, like, just resprayed the entire car. Counting a nice cars at five gears. I mean, it's a movie, so they'll... Ex Usually movie cars have, like, 4,000 speed transmissions. That is true, Reaper. I mean, is it a derby car if it doesn't have a bad paint job? Let's be honest here. Also get fucked, Eddie. I won $40. <laughs> making, making big bucks here. Very good. Cletus McYeetus takes over TJ's. So, uh, game took its sweet time loading there. So, two down, three to go. Let's uh, move on to our next boy, Scott Johnson, who hails from Springfield, driving an Algar. Oh, he's got only got one friend. He's, he's a bit of a loner. He only has one friend. He has an Algar, and he's going to wager $75. Top tier comedy Q. Top tier comedy. Turn the wrong business. Yes, Reaper. Here we go. 1v2. Another lap around the Welch Alley. Notice how all these uh all these showdowns at TJ's take place at the Welch Valley here. I'm about it. Car fucking screams. So look at that waterfall. You thought we were done with beautiful waterfalls just because I finished uh, Porsche Unleashed? <laughs> you are mistaken. It's been so long since I played Dirt to the Tone, it's actually kind of difficult for you to remember, like, the layout of this track. Like, I remember it, but, like, trying to, like, put together uh, how it looked in Dirt to Daytona to how it looks in this game. It's pretty interesting. Again, I, I, I just like the fact that they repurposed Welch Valley to fit with the theme of this game, because I, I genuinely like this track, and I'm kind of sad that it hasn't returned in the Heat, the new Heat series. Like, th like for Heat 5, I would be totally fine with some nostalgia bait with the return of Welch Valley in some way, shape, or form. I, I'd be perfectly fine with that. Lost the assets to the track. I mean, they didn't lose the assets to, like, all the engine sounds and shit. Surely they can recreate it. Surely. Also easy. That is correct, Harry. Monster Games, same developers as the NASCAR Heat series, including Dear to Daytona and this game. That's why, like, uh, this game uses the same, like, engine, like, uh, graphics, possibly physics, and engine as Dirt to Daytona, as well as uh, venues. So, there's Scott Johnson defeated. Got 75 bucks from him, so now let's move on to Max Powers and his Palo from Northfield. He's got two friends, okay. 
Now we're getting the high roller, high rolling bets here. $125. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh that is true, tuner guy, but I feel like they could do it if they had the time. Anyways, here we go. Next lap around Welch Valley. I guess it's just called Welch in this game, but I'm calling it Welch Valley. Just because it sounds better. Excuse my pardon me, come through. Racing God. Coming through. No, this track's entirely fictional. Yeah, the valley enhances its title. Yeah. Mustard. We get some Welch Valley Ranch. Man, I should have raced these guys in the payload. This is too easy, clap. <laughs> should have waited until the next eve to buy this car or something. Oh well. Easy. Flexing hard on these nerds. But money grinding. Not like I'm hurting for cash. This is more for completions. Well, I probably will be hurting for cash eventually, because I'm sure I'll destroy one of my cars and have to spend a lot of money to repair it, either at the eve or just in general. I mean, I already did that with the payload once, and that cost me, like, what, an extra five bucks? <laughs> five to ten dollars in repairs. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but in the context of this game, that can add up quick. And easy win. Number four. They're not even in the background. Max powers, you suck. Easy, 125 bucks. These are unpredictable. Oh yeah, that is true. Because of all the carnage and shit. Max Powers does not have max power. That is very, very true. Very true. So, time for our fifth and final person hanging out here at TJ's. Barry Likens from Dundas. He's in Adesio, and he's, uh, oh, he's just going to 1v1 me. All right. Let's go, Barry. 165 bucks on the line. Let's do a 1v1. I'm fine with that. When you live in a double wide with chickens for roommates, five to ten bucks is a hell of a lot. Yes. Exactly. Good friend of mine who loves this game. Is it me? It's me. It's me, right? I'm the friend. Hi, Jabber. This, this game is absolutely amazing. It's even better when you actually have the music on. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm gonna keep mentioning that, by the way. This game is... This game soundtrack is incredible. One of my favorite licensed soundtracks in all of gaming. Yeah, Rob fucking Zombie. And Sum 41. Don't forget Sum 41. The only thing is, I think this game is actually kind of hard to find and also expensive when you find it, so, uh... While I do recommend anybody who has passed up this overlooked masterpiece, uh, good luck with that. <laughs> Some 42. Her, her. Really associate with my musical taste growing up. I can agree. I, I can relate to that as well, Reaper. Dude, real talk. Like, the two best Hoobastank songs are in this game. Fucking Same Direction and Out of Control. Same Direction is like a Omega Banger.
Oh, oh shit. I'm not sure unless you want to be with the right because of Connor. NASCAR fanfic. 91 Yum Brands Dodge. That sounds actually pretty cool. Uh, jabber. Anyways, win. That was, uh, that was easy. Lycan's got the dick. Maybe you shouldn't 1v1 me. You silly. That was some easy money. Barry licks the dick. And there we go. No one wants to challenge me anymore. Haha, uh -huh. I win. I win them all. So, uh, there's that. And I think I'm going to call it a segment here because I kind of wanted to, uh, devote a segment to doing all the TJs, all the shit at TJs. Dude, look at that burger. Mm, that's a nice burger. So, uh, well, that, I guess we'll move on to our next Eve once I, uh, split the recordings here.